guys! Welcome back to Kawaii Toy Collector. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make no glue slime out of weird everyday objects you probably have lying around your house. So yeah, also guys, the hashtag notification squad for my last video is... Unicorn Lover, Lily B Plays, Zara Nazari, and Mustache Panda. So if you guys want to be part of the hashtag notification squad, all you guys have to do is after you subscribe to me, hit the bell. That will mean you guys will be notified right after I upload a new video. So after I upload a new video, make sure you guys comment down below at least under 10 minutes, hashtag notification squad. And you guys can go to the people seen on the screen today. Also, please remember to please leave a like and subscribe to Quiet Toy Collector. In the comments down below, give us some video ideas. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make no glue slime out of weird everyday objects you guys probably have lying around your house. So the first one is mouthwash slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is mouthwash and I got this one from the dollar store. Next thing you guys will need is hand soap. You guys will also need a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least you guys will need a mixing tool. So I've done this recipe on my channel before but it was a fail because I just used mouthwash so I thought I would try mouthwash and hand soap. So I'm going to take out the mouthwash and I'm going to use this little cup to measure how much I need. And now let's add the mouthwash in there. So maybe add, if you have a cup like this, maybe add maybe just like right around that rim. Okay, and I'm going to add in my hand soap. And you're going to need more hand soap than mouthwash because you want it to activate better. So I'm just going to add a lot. I'm just going to get mixing it around. Because so you're going to see that it's like kind of activating a little bit. You guys can see that. Look at that. I'm actually just going to try pouring in some of this because it might be actually quite faster. Yeah, because like the mouthwash is kind of like an activator for this, kind of like how salt is to other slime recipes. And you can see this one, you don't need a fridge, but you can just see it activates a little bit. So I feel like this one is kind of a win win. Yeah. It's like, so weird. I don't know what to think about this one. <laughs> See, like, it's like, it's like clumping up, but it's not. So I feel like this is a maybe, maybe. I want you guys to try out with this recipe because I know it's not holdable, but I want to see if this recipe works for you guys. So please leave it in the comments down below. And let's move on to the next no glue slime recipe you can make with everyday objects. Okay, guys, so the next no glue slime recipe you guys can make with everyday objects is Play-Doh slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is Play-Doh. I'm using this Crayola doll I got from the dollar store. I know it's not Play-Doh, but I thought I would use it. And you can use like any type of clay or anything. I also have this one made for slime. And you guys will also need a foaming hand soap or shaving cream. So I've seen people do this recipe with regular like lotion stuff. So I thought it would be a little bit unique and do it with this. Which I'm excited to see if that happens. And happened to you it was soft for a second now it's not <laughs> I'm actually just gonna get a little chunk of it not too much and you can see that and I'm gonna try adding in you know I'm actually gonna get a little container out you guys will probably need a little container to do this with so there that is I'm gonna get out this and oh my gosh there's a dog hair in that sorry <laughs> And now I'm going to get mixing it in, and I will keep this fast forward. Okay, guys, so here is the slime recipe. I feel like it made it softer, but I'm actually going to try doing it with the other clay, so I will be back in a second. Okay, so I got a piece of the other clay out, and I'm going to try adding in some shaving, no shaving cream, um, hand lotion. And gosh, this one's working much better, because I feel like this one's softer. So maybe try finding a softer clay to do this with. Oops, now it's stuck to there. Yeah, look at that. Maybe if I try adding a little bit more. I feel like something's happening. Oh my gosh, it is. Look at this. You basically made slime out of clay. It's actually really nice and soft. So both of these were actually win-win, it's just this one needed to be molded a little bit better. Let's try mixing them. I wonder what will happen. 
look completely mixed in. So if you want to use the the <laughs> Crayola dough to add into slime, I request you do. So this recipe is a win-win on my part. So let's move on to the next no glue slime recipe. Okay guys, so last but not least is probably my favorite no glue slime recipe you can make out of any items you have in your household. So this recipe is a shampoo slime recipe. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is shampoo, and I'm using this one called Sparkling Cider Shampoo. Well, focus. <laughs> the next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So for this recipe, I'm first going to take out my bowl or plate and add in my shampoo. Also, don't mind the Play-Doh on me. It was from the last recipe. And this one I like a lot because you need a really thick soap for this one to work. And it will work out pretty well. And now I'm going to get mixing this around. and just starts thickening up and everything. So I'm actually gonna get mixing for a while and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done mixing. So here's the recipe after mixing it. I put it into this little dish to show how it works. So it turned out pretty well. It's pokeable and everything. And let me try to get a focus on this screen. Oh my gosh, ah, it's spilling. But here's a little bit of a close up. So it's really nice to touch and everything. And look how cool this is. I feel like you could have added it into the freezer if you wanted to, so I do suggest you adding it into the freezer if you want this recipe to work much better. But you do what you want to, and however this recipe turned out for you guys, please put it in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Here's all the slime recipes I tested and showed in today's video. So, the first one was the mouthwash and hand soap recipe and this one turned out kind of odd just because like look at that that's just it's like I don't know it's a weird mixture the second one was the clay and hand soap slime recipe and this one was probably my favorite just because how it turned out it's just so cool and you guys probably have play-doh laying around your house so try doing this recipe it turned out very cool last but not least is probably my second favorite is the shampoo slime recipe this one's just so unique and it's touchable and everything if you guys want a touchable slime recipe to play with and mix around with, you can of course use this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Remember to please leave a like and subscribe to Quiet Toy Collector. In the comments down below, give us some video ideas. Bye guys, love you and peace. Thumbs up for no slime recipes. Bye!